Hello, wonderful students. Today I'm going to show you how to make this piece of pop art with these stormtroopers and guys in suits. I'm going to give you these photos that I found on Pixabay. You're welcome to make up your own though if you want to. So first of all, what is pop art? It's an art movement that emerged in the UK and United States during the mid to late 50s. The movement presented a challenge to traditions of fine art by including imagery from popular and mass culture, such as advertising, comic books, and mundane mass-produced cultural objects. In this case, we're going to do Star Wars. Okay, so here's what the final piece is going to kind of look like. So basically, we're going to be using these complementary colors. So the first thing you need to do is make a new file. The size should be about 1600 by 1250, somewhere in that range. So there's our new document. Now I already have these colors picked out. I want you to pick out two complementary colors to use. All right, and I'm going to get the rectangular selection tool and drag a box over the left half of my image and I'm gonna fill it with the foreground color, which I have already chosen as red because I wanna use red and blue. So there we go, I have half and half. The next thing you're gonna do is open up the, um, well, I'm going to select none here and now go to File, Open, and I'll provide these pictures for you, or you can find your own if you want to do something original. Okay, so I'm going to get this businessman photo, and I need to select him out of his background, so I'm going to get the fuzzy select tool. You need to make sure that the threshold is on the right number. So for this one, I think that 15 is a good number. And you're just going to start clicking on the white and then hold the shift key and keep clicking on the areas of the white that aren't selected. So just shift click. Don't worry about his face getting selected there because we're not going to use his face anyway. All right, so now I have the white selected, but I need the guy. So I'm going to go to select invert. All right, now I have the guy selected. So you're going to go to Edit, Copy, and then let's go back to your file and go Edit, Paste, and then as always, press Enter, a new layer after you paste something. All right, and then get the Scale tool and drag anywhere to size it and by the center of the box to move it. Let's put him over here on the red area. All right, I'm going to go to Colors and Levels. You don't have to do this part, but if you want to give your object um, a little more contrast, you can do this. So I'm just going to drag that slider over to the left a little bit. All right, now the important part is Colors Threshold. This is what gives it kind of that grainy uh, copy machine look to it that we're going for. And if you move this slider here, you can see it allows different amounts of black and white. So it's up to you where you put it. I'm gonna leave mine about there. I think that looks good. And then press OK. All right, um, I'm just gonna use the lasso tool to get rid of his head. You have to make sure that the dot turns orange so that it's connected. And then I'm gonna to go to Edit, Cut because I don't want his head sticking out when I put the stormtrooper's head on there. All right, speaking of the stormtrooper, let's open up that file. So we need to flip this to go the other way first. So go to Image, Transform, Flip Horizontal, because I want his head facing the other way. All right, and back to the lasso tool. I'm gonna use that to select the head. Now, if you hold the Alt key, while you're going around here, it gives you some straight lines and it makes it a lot quicker. You don't have to do this very neat because that's the whole point of this. It kind of gives it character if you leave a little bit of an edge around it. So don't worry about doing that perfect. All right, and then when you get an orange dot, you know that the path is closed. So you go to Edit, Copy. And then let's go back to our art and do Paste, press Enter, a new layer. And then we're going to get the scale tool. And it's going to make it a little bit smaller. Drag it by the center to move it. And then you can drag it anywhere to size it. Center to move it. Make it a little bigger. All right, I'm going to rotate it a little bit too. So get the rotate tool and just drag in the corner. 
and rotate it a tad. All right, I think that looks good. You press enter when you have it the way you want. Now let's go to colors threshold again. I don't need to do that le layers or levels thing every time. You can just skip that. All right, so I'm going to drag this until I get the right amount of black in there. I think that looks good. Say OK. All right, I'm going to move this just a tad. There we go. Now let's go and open up our other business sky. Now this one has a lot of gray, so when you get the um, fuzzy select tool, you'll notice if you leave the threshold on 15, it gets his suit. So what you need to do is go down and put the threshold around 5. So go to select none, and now you can see it's not getting all of his suit. So I can shift click and get the other side, get that little area that's missing here, and there. All right, that's good. So now let's select the guy, so go select invert and go edit copy and go back to our art and do edit paste press enter and then new layer and now once again scale tool you can drag it anywhere to scale it but by that center box is what you have to use to move it let's make it a little smaller put it down here at the bottom all right that looks pretty good and press enter. Now I'm going to go to colors, threshold again. And if you drag this uh, slider again, it'll show you how much black and white that you want to have shown. I'm going to leave mine about right there and press OK. All right, now I'm going to duplicate the stormtrooper's head so I can put it over there. So I'm going to click on that layer and go to layer, duplicate layer, and then get the move tool and drag the other stormtrooper's head over on this side. I'm going to pull it up on top of the other guy's suit. I feel like that guy's body needs to be a little smaller, so I'm going to get the scale tool, make it a little smaller, and move it over here. Looks good. Now I'm going to go to the other stormtrooper's head, and I want to make it a tad bigger and move it down on his shoulders. Right there. Okay, that looks how I want it. I want to move this one over, so I'm going to click on the guy on the left and his head and link those two layers together and then get the move tool and just slide it over a tad. That looks good about there. All right, I'm going to unlink those two layers now, and I'm going to go link up the two on the right, and I'm going to move them over a little bit. Okay, now I'm ready to make a new layer to color on. So when you create a new layer, you want to put the mode, change it from, well, I'm first going to name it to color, and then I'm going to go on mode and change it from normal to darken, darken only, and say OK. And now I'm going to get the blue color, and I'm going to get a brush. Make sure the hardness is 100% hard brush. I'm going to use a size of 34 for starters. So what you want to do is color in the blue on the Stormtrooper's shirt that's on the left-hand side. You can also use the bracket keys that are to the right of the P to change the size of your brush. So I'm going to go around here and I'm going to color in everything, all his clothes except for the tie. I'm going to leave the tie white and obviously I'm going to leave his arm white. Don't worry about doing this super neat either because it's supposed to kind of look like a screen printed poster, you know, where the color, maybe the screen shifted a little bit. It kind of gets to give it a little character if it's not perfectly neat. Alright, I want to cut out some of the white that's where his arm is because the background should be showing through there. So I'm going to use the lasso tool and go edit, cut, cut that area out. Alright, so back to the coloring. 
just finish coloring in that little area on his shirt. I'm going to go ahead and color in um, his belt and pants. So I'm using a small brush to go around the edge of what I want to color in, and then you can make the brush bigger once you have that outlined. All right. So now I'm going to color in the other stormtrooper suit, but I'm going to use red this time. Once again, I'm going to use a smaller brush to go around the edge. And don't worry about if it's not perfect. I think it looks kind of good to leave a little bit of a line around it. So I use a smaller brush to go all the way around the edges that touch a white area. So I just kind of make an outline around everything. All right, now I'm going to use the bracket tool and make my brush bigger. That way I can start coloring in faster. And just fill everything in, except for the hands. All right. So now you just need to type your name. I would suggest using white. Get the text tool. Type your name in the lower right hand side. And that's what we have. So um, you need to save this as an XCF for yourself. That's an editable file. You don't want to turn that one in, but that's the one you can save if you want to go back and edit something later. Press save. Now the file that you want to turn in, you need to go to export. So file, export. If you just type in PNG or JPEG, it will automatically save in that format. I'm using PNG, you can leave all those settings default and say export. All right, so that's the file you turn in. Now I want to show you something. If you want to edit your colors later, like maybe you want to change the colors that you used, if you go back and open up your PNG or your JPEG and you go to color, hue chroma you can experiment with different colors let's say you didn't really like your red and blue or whatever you can slide that around and experiment with the colors i think that kind of looks cool too so this this isn't something that you have to do but let's just say you weren't real happy with your color choice you can edit the colors on your png later and the chroma makes it more saturated okay so that's just another idea if you want to play around with the colors. Personally, I still prefer it red and blue. Okay, I hope you enjoy the lesson.